Okay, let's check this out. So, you are saying shot 5 and 6. Shot 6 is rough blocking. You only animated the first 17 frames. You ran out of money to get to frame 18, 19. So, check this one out. Hmm. Let's see here. It seems like your pivot, you can't really see it, it's off screen on that foot here. Um, the pivot is a bit much feeling, you know, like if you have your your foot and you're pivoting off of here, let's say, and you rotate, you know, like the foot would be here, it pivots off the toes, but then your leg is here. So there's a lot of leg movement. And what happens here is that you start with your leg here. And then you end here. So that is a lot of leg movement because you're probably pivoting off the toes. But the thing is, it looks like the leg is just sliding around. And it doesn't give you uh, the sense of weight that she is actually on that foot. So what I would do is, on this frame, probably keep that leg halfway through. So that on this frame, it could almost be here. So you are pivoting. But it still looks like your foot or your leg is kind of staying put. So while she does all this, that leg will be here. So by now, that leg will be here. You know what I mean? Like that leg doesn't really change position, especially down here. So it doesn't look like, look like it's translating so much to the right. It looks like she's sliding around. So it will be a cheat. But I think visually, because we are cutting off and we don't see the feet, that's something you're going to have to do. Otherwise, it's going to look a bit weird. Watch out. Doing a section like this. It's good. You got this broken up compared to this, which is cool. But right around here, during that moment there, it feels like arms and the chest, like this whole area, is moving as one. Like one big thing. So you might want to, when she turns, delay her arms, her arm will be here and the pot will be here. So it will be the, the, the body that this leads, but this drags. And then it can catch up maybe around here. Because you have this big move, then it's pause, then it's big move. So here you're doing the same thing again where the chest, all the chest area and her arm all move at the same time there. It's a bit of a tricky thing if you could break that up a bit more. Because it's also really fast. That move over here is a bit fast, like stuff would just fly out of that the bowl same thing here again you can look at this and it's like this whole area the head neck arms and bowl all move as one and it also feels a bit post to pose like she does this stops right then goes to here stops this and then it stops also when you do this same thing again it seems like the root is just moving everything so this would all fall down. You're going to keep that bowl up there. Break it up between the chest and the head. Then this feels pose to pose. Where it, you know, it's like that's a moment. Then that's a moment. That's a moment. There's no overlap in terms of, well, now the head is moving. You know, she's doing all of this. When she's done with this move, the head could already start to look up. And she's already looking this way. And then... The body follows to be in the same orientation. So it's hard for me to know sometimes because, you know, it's, as I said last time, I know you mentioned that you're, you're forgetting it every now and then, but um, I just seen your email. Here's my shot five and six. So I see shot five and I want to know, well, how far into it are you? Because it's still moving as one unit and it is pose to pose. So is this like, how much did you work on it? Are you aware? This is supposed to pose. Are you aware that this is dipping and this would all fall out? So I'm not sure if those are the things you know already or that you're just repeating the same mistakes over and over and over. I'm, it's getting slightly confusing. So it's just, again, it's, things are clear. And I think having her go this way is better, but your the butt, her root, it's still going away from us in a very straight way so the perspective change is not quite going so that's all it's almost broken up where the root goes back but this goes down here and what you want to do is you want to turn around so that 
see how the her root is looking straight at us but you want to rotate that even more so that when she goes back it's it's as if the root was here and then she leans over this way so it's a bit more you can see that the root is moving to the left or at least a bit this way versus straight away from us so i see that being worked on a bit but it's not quite there because the root is still doing the same thing you gotta move the root this way that's all cute that works like how she brings it down i like how her arm goes around and that's nicely done how it goes along the surface which is cool but don't forget doing stuff like this you know where she gonna look i blinks eye darts i'm not sure if it again looks like just a dead robot like here she comes alive like here she's actually looking cute though that's cool it's a good reaction just watch out when she does this and she starts moving her head over it's good that you have the rest be involved the problem is that the chest and the head kind of move at the same time and then kind of stop at the same time so again you gotta break up all these sections and they all move separately at, at a different time and the thing like the way to figure that out is also to act it out and shoot reference so i don't know if you're just animating it or if you are looking at reference or not so if you are acting it out and you look at what the body does and during a move like this you probably blink as well And then the camera move could ease in a bit more. This feels like your curves are just going in and stop. So you can ease into that. Translate, stop. Also, when, when it starts to ring, boom, right there, she could probably blink a bit earlier. It just really depends. Or she seems slightly surprised. So if she's surprised about this, then I will probably blink. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Sorry, for some reason, my audio was slipped. Okay, I oh, know that's better. Strange. Okay, okay, no, you're good. You're good, you're good. Yeah, so think about those breakups and all that stuff for body mechanics. And then here is your 17 frame animated shot. All right, she's looking, looking, looking. I mean, there's really not much I can say. Except that here, your arm move, that arm and the head, they come down kind of at the same time. Right there. So this seems really twin here, movement-wise. And I'm not sure if you need all that, that head move. It's like maybe on the way up here, she would then kind of have the biggest head move. But then here, it's all about her hands. It just feels weirdly, again, connected and parented where these two things come down. And then watch intersections. You got to look at, well, how is she picking? How is she going to pick this up and get to her, her ear? Because it's going to intersect. And then it's going to be all about eyes. Eye darts, eye darts, eye darts, eyebrows, thinking. And then same thing here. How are you going to put this down? She's going to have to really lift that arm up. To get this to go not to go through so maybe what you want to do is bring this phone over here right and she's still here and then she can just grab it and pull the phone towards her so that when she's in a pose like this this whole thing is here right that's her that's the phone and then she can be here and it's all fine and then she can just put the phone back here Compositionally, I think it would be better. It would feel more balanced and it's, it wouldn't be all so crowded through here. The silhouette would be better because that is not overlapping. So you know when she's down here, again, the phone thing will be here. So then it's nicely balanced and you can just go and put it down there. Alrighty, that is it. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.